Hey everyone, this is Lord Davin again, and today I am bringing you the VV Nova from Vision. Now the VV Nova from Vision is a neat little tank concept. It's 3.5 ml, it has replaceable heads, uh, it is a CE2 style. Um, I'm going to pull it out of the box and show it to you. Now it comes fully assembled with a, a 2.4 ohm head on it and it comes with a 1.8 and a 2.8 head as well. Now it is a really cool concept. Now, some of the heads that have gone out have been known to have some issues. They'll have a, a piece of wick that's on top and not even in the coil. Um, they're made for you to play with. So if you have something like that, you can check out your wicks before you do it. You can cut them. You can do what you want. This, this is your tank to make it the way you want it to be. That's why they have replaceable heads. It's around 15 bucks. I got mine from GotVapes.com. Um, they picked up a lot of them, and they're really good. Now, the charm of these things isn't the fact, really, that they've got the replaceable heads. That's a great option, but it's a $15 rebuildable tank. Um, rebuildable tanks, I, I don't even know of many that are even uh, under 50 bucks. The $15 rebuildable tank is just a great concept. Uh, it allows you to do what you want to do with it, and that's what this is all about. Um, you can go out and buy new heads. If the heads you have you don't like, you can buy new heads. They have them come in everywhere. Everybody's going to have the Vision BB Nova. I recommend you go out and get as many as possible right now before they stop making them rebuildable. I don't know if they're going to or not, but we all knew what happened with the Stardust. The very first ones were rebuildable, which made them so popular. They came out with the revisions, and the revisions made it more difficult to rebuild. The VV Nova that is out right now, fantastic. Fantastic. $15 rebuildable tank, people. Buy five. Uh, <laughs> it is just really cool. Um, and I'm going to show you how I rebuild mine. Um, it, it may not be the same way you do yours. Um, but the, the VV Nova has just some basic parts. You have the top, which has the mouthpiece in it. Um, you have a tube. You have the base with a post and then a 510 connector on it. That's right, a 510 connector to take off your head unit. Now the head unit is made up of a few parts as well. But the cool part is it will take a 510 connector, so you can put whatever you want on here and play with your tank. Um, I've got tons of things that are 510. Everything's going in there. I'm going to try to make this thing the most massive tank ever made. Um, the rebuildable head, I'm going to clean this one off. It did have some juice on it. has a cup cap with the uh, nice little metal piece so you don't burn your ceram or your um, silica cup cap and then you've got your 510 connector the 510 connector has two pieces one is the 510 metal connector which you can grab with a pair of tweezers and pull right off yeah, let's take a look at it at this angle Hope that someplace we'll find it and then of course we have a rubber seal but that someplace will need it. When those are off, the whole head comes out. Grab it from the wicks, pull the piece out, and you've got your wick and connector. I'm going to put that aside because I'm going to use a brand new wick. And this is my wick. Now, for me to redo this, I'm trying to show you how easy it is to actually rebuild your head. You can get wick and coil tons of different places on the net. I will post some below. Um, Got Vapes, I believe, is going to have some for their customers. Uh, Clouds of Vapor has some. Um, I like the stuff at Clouds of Vapor. 
but I got this whip fr wick from Got Vapes as well as the coil. So I'm going to take my wick. I'm going to use a very, very thin needle. You can use paper clips and nails, but don't do those with the wick because you're not going to wrap it tight enough around the wick. I'm going to use a needle, and I'm even going to twist my wick a little bit. I'm going to pop that sucker right on there, and I'm going to grab it with my nail. I've got my nail at the very center of the wick, and then I'm going to use a very thin coil that I have. This is a resistance wire, and I'm going to keep my end long because I'm going to repass this through the tube, and then I'm going to do very tight wraps, and I want them as close to each other as possible. And I'm going to do four wraps. Now, I'm going to take my two wires and I'm going to pull those to tighten that wick even more. I'm going to push my coils together so that they're touching. And then I'm going to pull out my needle. And what I'm going to get is a very tight coil on the wick. Now, to get this back through, I have very long coils at the end, or the, I'm leaving the coil long at the end. I'm going to kind of twist those together a little bit to make it easier for me to pass it through. And then I have my tube. I'm going to pass those through so they're all the way through. Now yeah, they're twisting. This is my hardest part. Now once they're through, I'm going to hold my wick. There are another slits on the sides of this that you pass the, co the wick through. And you want to make sure that your coil is in the center and it's nice and tight. Then I untwist. One of the nice things is as I try to pull my two coils apart, I'm continuing to tighten my coil on the center. I want it nice and tight. Then we're going to take our little rubber piece that we had before and we're going to pass that through one of the coils, one of the coil leads, pull it tight, pull the other one tight, and we're going to push that on in place. Pop. Now once it's on there, I like to give it a little bit more pull. Make sure it's still nice and tight in the center. Make sure my wick is nicely centered. My coil is centered in there. Then we're just going to take this little metal piece and push it through the center. We're not going to put anything through it, just push it right through the center. Now you can do, you're going to be left with two little wires sticking out. I'm going to take the lazy approach because you can bend them back and forth until they break and that's probably going to do it much tighter than this. I'm just going to clip them with a pair of nail clippers. Uh, use sanitary nail clippers please. No toe jam. Uh, and then we're going to place it back on the center post of the VV Nova. Now I'm doing this on a lava tube because I don't care for bricks. Uh, we're going to place our, and I, I cut a couple little slits in my cup, in my um, top seal. And I'm just going to pop that right on top. And this let's just make sure that the, the wick is nice and, and, and loose. And I'm going to 
fluff my wick a little bit. Push it down. Pop that uh, cup back on. And then uh, put the top on. We have just rolled our own wick on the VV Nova. Now, I want to check the resistance, and I don't trust devices to do that. I uh, haven't built that trust up. And I don't have a Provari, uh, which is the one that I would trust. And I'm going to use a multimeter. Put the center in and touch the outside. It's telling me that I got 3.6 ohms, which is telling me as well that I haven't wrapped it even tight enough. But we're going to go with it. So I'm going to pop that on. I am going to put some juice in. Top back on, let it soak up a little bit, and let's see, I'm at 4.4. Mmm, that's pretty good. So, what's the verdict here? Well, <laughs> this thing is just so cool. Uh, I, I could sit here and, and recoil this thing all day long. It is not hard to do. It's actually very simple to recoil this thing. And you'll get your kind of pattern down and, and, and what works best for you. Um, this is working great for me with the needle. Keep it tight. Push that coil together. You want to heat one area. If you spread it out and you don't do it nicely tight, what ends up happening is you're not heating it enough. <laughs> you're going to you're going to not produce a good flavor. I'm getting excellent flavor out of this thing and, and it's showing up as 3.6. Um I could probably kick it up to about 4.6 volts and Yeah. That's the way a tank should work. And the VV Nova works for me because I can make it what I want. Now, if I want to go out and buy more heads, I can buy more heads. Um, I can buy different heads. I, I'm sure they're going to come out with heads for everything. But for now, I'm doing the CE too. I may pop some other stuff in there. I got tons of stuff. This box is filled with old CE2s that I have. I can cut them right above the wire, pop them through. I can do whatever I want, and I can bring life back to some of my older items in a tank. I can use those wicks, those coils. I can do whatever I want, and that's what the VV Nova is all about. For 15 bucks, you get three heads, you get the tank, you get a lot of fun. Get some resistance wire out there, 36 it would be really good, 32 is good. The stuff I'm using is very, very thin. It's the stuff that I like to use because I get a lot of flavor and vapor out of it. I am loving this thing. But before they change it, because we can do all this stuff with it, and, and we know how the Chinese are, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to. But before they change it, go out and get yourself one or five or ten. They're cool. Um, I'm going out to buy more. I have two here, two on order. I'm going to go order two more. All right. This is Lord Devin. Let him know I sent you.